This Christmas, Bond is back like you've never seen him before. You hungry? I had an extra one. You know, grab me. Of course not. Violence is so uncivilized. It's the same James Bond you know and love, rewritten to please even the most progressive, socially conscious moviegoer in 2018. What'll it be, sir? Let me guess. Martini, shaken, not stirred? Latte, soy latte, extra decaf. Extra decaf? Are the beans sustainably sourced? I only drink organic, farm-raised, homegrown, cruelty-free coffee. I have no idea. With intrigue and suspense. Your move, 007. Is it? No, seriously, is it? I don't know how to play this game. I saw at a TED Talk recently that competitive activities only encourage toxic masculinity and marginalize disenfranchised communities into unjust hierarchical structures reinforced by a bigoted and corrupt system. You're bluffing. What's a bluff? And it isn't a Bond film without seduction. Well, James, I've had a really lovely evening. Cats come inside. You know, I don't appreciate the heteronormative assumptions in your proposition. It's regressive, anti-neo-feminist rhetoric like that that perpetuates a patriarchal society of oppression and gendered subjugation, not the least of which I care to contribute to. You could have just said no. So get ready for the most politically correct secret agent of all time. No guns, no gambling, no girls. It's James Bond in the spy who consensually agreed in writing She Loved Me. You must be Q. It's LGBTQ now. But of course. <laughs>